Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel DNA. I hope you all are well. So today I am using this deviation mold and it's by Beastcraft. Some of you were asking me about the size of this mold and so I will leave everything in the description for you plus there will be a discount code as well so you can treat yourself. Also there are a lot of amazing molds on this website and a lot of jewelry items. So let's start with the video. What I'm doing here is I have taken a crayon. it's a 18 karat gold marker and beforehand I am highlighting all the all the markings on this mold. So there are many ways to do it. I am using jasmineite here so that's why I am doing it beforehand otherwise if I would be using a resin I just make it before and then I will be doing the etching technique that would be far easy but I'm making it with jasmineite so yeah I'm doing it. So this would have taken me a lot of time, so you just enjoy the process. So it's all done on to the next step and the next step is what I'm doing here is I am mixing my jasmineite. It's already mixed up. So this mold took around 500 grams of jasmineite. So I think the reason will be same as well. So I just mixed my jasmineite and I'm pouring. So I'm pouring my jasmineite into the mold now and I will leave it to hard enough for 30 minutes. As this is a big mold, that's why. So as you can see, I got some rough patches on the back of the mold, but we'll see how it comes out after we demold it. Because I have this jasmineite for some time now, so yeah. So this is how it turns out after demolding, and I'm quite happy with the marking as it has taken the, all the golden color but there are a lot of bubbles in there so I was uh, a bit disheartened about it that has happened. So I was on the edge of leaving this project because I was unhappy I got so many uh, air bubbles in there so but I thought why not try and give it a go and make something out of it because I am uh, I love to create things so yeah and also I was not happy with the intensity of the gold on this plate I need to highlight it a bit more so I filled up my piping cone with the gold color and I am trying to do, do the marking slowly but it was a messy job because well, this was a liquid gold and it was getting everywhere so yeah there were a lot of difficulties I was going through. So I made a little incision on the end of this piping bag and I was just carefully adding the gold pigment. It was sort of a journey for me for making this uh, deviation mold and it came out really difficult. 
but it, this was first time so uh, that it, it's a learning curve for my second time i know what i have to do it would be far easy for me in the start i wanted to just make it a simple black deviation plate with the gold marking that's it but as i went through and started making it there were so many mistakes that were happening beforehand i got the air bubbles then the golden was a bit of a job to do so filling this gold up took me some time and i think around two days i was doing this so you will see all the wrongs that i've done as well so this is the next day and i thought of the idea of doing the etching so yeah i do it with the reason i was thinking just try with the adjustment i don't see as the project is ruined anyway so this was acrylic paint that i'm using on and immediately i thought this is really really a bad thing i did here because it was drying up and yeah because of the markings there are very thin lines in there so it was really not an easy job here with the jasmineite so i tried to fix it but this was this thing was not working for me so thankfully it washed up nicely so yeah it's this is how it looks after washing up and yeah it is pretty bad i can say but i managed to do the filling up again here and now i will leave the color to dry up i did some sanding to remove the gold paint i have on it so something is coming up because of that copper color and that golden everything it, it is a really a journey of do, making this deviation plate now i'm just sanding off the places there where there are some spots so this project of mine have gone through under a lot of changes and it was taking the changes very nicely and i was happy with that i didn't given up so i'm just sanding up the bits because of the air bubbles i have i was not sure what i have to do so i thought why not go towards the galaxy theme and here i took out my white acrylic paint and then another journey started i went and traveled towards the galaxy and i think this is something that comes to you and slowly it's a nature way of telling you that you can do it so i'm simply dipping my brush into the paint and i am just sprinkling it onto the board now and by doing by doing this it will hide all the air gaps i have because there are tiny small gaps and by doing this white sprinkle it will hide away and mix you can say camouflage so in the start there was nothing like this going to happen it was going to uh, was to be a very simple deviation plate but it didn't want to be simple and it was thinking about the galaxy and the stars and i was just making it really simple so this is really a fun process where you sprinkle the white paint onto the project and it really changes itself and it was looking amazing and i was really happy with this idea so now i'm going with the flow and i'm just drawing the stars so from the here you it's really up to you how you like to make your galaxy it's really your take on it so here what i'm doing is just simply dapping some dots on it making a constellation sort of design so while i was making this uh, galaxy effect i was thinking something in my mind that now i need to do something little bit extra on it because uh, this plate is not looking that smooth now so here i just finished up my drawing here doing some finish 
finishing touches and after that so after that it's been dried up for two days because of all the pains i wanted to leave it so on to the next step now so here i really lost the count of days so i don't remember which day it is but this is something i thought of to put everything together i am top coating it to make it neat and bring out the beauty of the galaxy i'm pouring a resin on the top So after doing all the top coat, it was still looking a bit empty to me because this is galaxy and come on, we need some colors. So yeah, I was thinking when I was doing it, what to do, what to do, what to do and something clicked in my mind. So this is what I was doing. I added some fantasy film to the deviation plate and now I can see there's something is happening here and it's magical. And when you add these aura film or fantasy film into your project, it do changes it dramatically and it becomes something else. So when you're making a galaxy it do needs a lot of layers because galaxy is a hidden place and you don't know what is there it's unknown it's abyss it's something so amazing so after that i decided to add some iridescent glitter and just to pull everything together i did a little amount on different areas and I'm just spreading it now with the resin so this was my final step for this project and it did take me some time and I am really loving it how it turned out now I am deciding it on to what I will be making out of it either it's a wall decor or it will be a deviation plate I'm just thinking about it but I am really happy how it came out so do let me know in comments what would you think I would make out of it, a wall decor or a division plate or anything else. A project that I was about to throw away, I didn't give up and this is the final look. Let's see how it turned out. So this is how it turned out and I am really loving it, how everything pulled together and I got this amazing galaxy effect on this division plate. So there was a lot of process involved and a lot of failure but in the end I think I got it and turned it into something amazing. I hope you like it and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so and I would look forward for your lovely comments and your suggestions if you have for me for doing this in future something really different with it. Everything is accepted and I really love to read your comments and you take your time to give me suggestions and so amazing positive feedback. So again just wanted to let you know that this mold was from Beecroft and I will link all the details in my, in my description and all the other details about the discount code as well. So if you like to treat yourself this is amazing mold I'm telling you I love it still but it was my mistake that I didn't take it seriously but next time I will so in the end but i'm happy that i did justice to this mold and it turned out well thank you so much for watching take good care of yourself and bye bye